two minutes. They're behind the gate. Here they come. There are. There goes looking fabulous right out for the early late center of the track. Pine Bush Liberty is now out and moving, and also from the outside, there goes the favorite. Time to imagine. And then on the inside, dropping in fourth, there comes Ariana Star. A gap of three lanes back to I like Monte Pulciano. Then it's Roulette Ruler in the early trailer. It's tremendous cruiser as they move down the back stretch to the quarter. And Mike Martin has the one to nine favorite. It is time to imagine your leader. They go by the quarter, 29-2 and two at the paddock turn the first time. So it's time to imagine on top by a length. Pine Bush Liberty in the pocket spot second with looking fabulous third. There goes Roulette Ruler beginning to hustle up now on the outside. Fourth followed by Ariana Starr. I like Monte Pulciano and Tremendous Cruiser. They're in the stretch over to the half and it is time to imagine holding on to the lead and from the outside there goes Max Sowers and Roulette Ruler rushing it up, looking to take on the favorite. Half mile in an even minute, 30 and three quarter. Moving around the clubhouse turn with time to imagine. Holding on to that lead, roulette ruler parked out there. Pocket trip, Pine Bush Liberty. Then on the inside, looking fabulous is fourth. And from the outside comes Ariana Star, fifth. Way back there to Tremendous Cruiser, dropping back to last. I like Monte Pulciano approaching the three quarters. And it's time to imagine, but... But now on the far outside, here's Ariana Star. Three quarters in 130, a 30 flat quarter here. Moving around the final turn. On the inside, it's still time to imagine. Looking to fend off Ariana Star right there in the two hole Pine Bush Liberty. Way back to the rest. Right now, it's down to these three as they turn for home. And it's still time to imagine in front. On the inside, Pine Bush Liberty. On the outside, Ariana Star. It is still time to imagine. And Mike Merton, and they are going to win it wire to wire. Ariana Starr gets up for the place with Pine Bush Liberty and looking fabulous. Mike Merton. Second race post time coming up in 11 minutes at 12.33. No changes in the upcoming second. Exact of 5.7, 12.80, 5.7, 4.35, 60. They're on the track for race two. One is I'm Just James, owned by Betty Jo Clegg with Paul Walker. Number two is Penny's Wah, owned by Kessler and Drolet with Kyle Di Benedetto. Number three is Poochum Lady, owned by Steve Moore with Bruce Aldridge. Four is LD's Dance, owned by Diana Bartels with Corey Stratton. Number five is Whiskey Maverick, owned by Rosemary DeLuca with Jim Taggart. Number six is Perfectly Sad, owned by Irving in the General Stable with Eric Irving. And number seven is Arts Virgin, owned by David Del Pozo with Max Sowers. Aces are on the turn.
Hatfield for the second race set to go. There are, there goes Penny Dois leaving in between horses. Poochum Lady showing speed. Also on the far outside now rushing up to be third is Whiskey Maverick. Then uh, way back there and beginning to drop back suddenly is I'm Just James. So passing I'm Just James is LD's Dance. Then on the outside, Arts Virgin and in between horses, Perfectly Sad. So approaching the quarter pole here, we have Penny's Noir in front. Quarter of a mile, 28 and four. The paddock turn the first time. So it is Kyle Di Benedetto and Penny's Noir leading by a length. Pocket Trip Puchim Lady is second, followed by the favorite Whiskey Maverick third. Way back to LD's dance fourth. Then moving up on the outside comes Arts Virgin, followed then by I'm Just James, and far back and out of it here is perfectly said. They're in the stretch over to the half. Penny Zwa over Poochum Lady second, then Whiskey Maverick, LD's dance and Arts Virgin, half mile, 59 and two, 30 and three quarter. Moving around the clubhouse turn, Penny Zwa holding on to a length and a quarter margin on Poochum Lady second. And now Jim Taggart sending the favorite Whiskey Maverick. Now to come first over on the outside third. Four lanes back to LD's dance fourth. Then it's Arts Virgin Fifth, and uh, far back there to I'm Just James, and the distant trailer is perfectly said. Heading by the three quarters, one thirty and one at thirty and four quarter. Moving around the final turn, it's still Penny's Y in front. Whiskey Maverick trying to get closer. Pocket trip, Poochum Lady. Three wide, LD's Dance now coming into contention, followed then by Arts Virgin Fifth, and they're at the top of the stretch. Homeward bound, Penny's Y in front. Whiskey Maverick. Maverick keeps on plugging away on the outside, and Whiskey Maverick now comes on to take the lead from Penny's Wah, and it goes to the favorite, and Whiskey Maverick reports home over Penny's Card Shark by Rosemary DeLuca, trained by Richard Campbell. The double five and five, six dollars, ten cents, five two exact at twenty four sixty, triple five two four eighty three fifty, super five two four seven three seventy one fifty. One is KJ Eric on my messenger in Wogan with Jim Taggart. Number two is Lana's Desire on by Bill Emmons with Corey Stratton. Three is Trevor One on with Great Thunder and Platinum Gold Stable with Brandon Parker. Number four is Rock on Lou on by Diane Giuliana with Kyle Di Benedetto. Number five is Bass Player, owned by the Cavallo Stable with Greg Merton. Number six is E. Paulette, owned by Perino and Aldridge with Bruce Aldridge. And seven is Heartland B. Ennies Bro, owned by Reynolds and Romowski, and driven by Mike Merton. Four minutes to post. Three minutes.
Post time in a minute, one minute remaining. It's post time for race three and the gate is moving. Paces are on the turn. Feel for your third race, start of the pick five, ready to go. There are, there goes Rock on Lou in the center of the track with Laney's Desire. Then down along the inside, KJ Eric now comes away third with Trevor One racing fourth with base player fifth. Then it's E Paul at sixth in Heartland B. Any's Bro trails the field as they move down the back stretch and heading to the quarter. So we have the post time favorite here, Rock on Lou and Kyle Di Benedetto lead the group here. Laney's Desire is second with KJ Eric and Trevor won 29 flat the first quarter here. So they move around the paddock turn the first time. Rock on Lou just missed by a nose in the open company last time out. Right there in the 2 0. Laney's Desire is second with KJ Eric and Trevor won. So they come by the stand for the first time. Rock on Lou leads it by an open lane. Laney's Desire second. KJ Eric third. There goes base player beginning to hustle on up. E Paul. Let looks to follow. Then it's Trevor one and Heartland B in his bro. The half mile, 58 and four, 29 and four quarter. Moving around the turn here with Rock on Lou holding that lead. First over on the outside, coming from base player. Then on the inside, Laney's Desire third. Second over Journey, E. Paul led alongside fourth with KJ Eric fifth. Then on the outside, it's Trevor one and Heartland B in his bro as they arrive at the three quarter juncture in 120. Seven and two. Moving around the final turn. So it's Rock on Lou looking to open up on Laney Desire. Then base player on the outside is third. Then on the inside, it's E. Paulette and Trevor one. But they're at the top of the stretch, homeward bound. And it's been the favorite. Rock on Lou every step of the mile here. Laney Desire at the passing lane. It's still Rock on Lou holding on to the lead. And it's going to go to Kyle Di Benedetto. And the favorite, Rock on Lou, beats out Laney desire with base player third and time for the mile 156 and two Number four, Rock On Lou, your winner. Finishing second goes to number two, Laney's Desire. Third was five base player and three, Trevor One will finish fourth in 156 and two.
Coming back to the winner's circle here is Rock on Lou. Five-year-old son of Sweet Lou at an artist rocker by Rock and Roll Hanover. Owned by Diane Giuliano. Trained by Keith Oz. Driven by Kyle DiBenedetto. Results official. Results official. Post time for the fourth coming up in fifteen minutes at one twenty five. No changes. Winning exact of 4 2 15 20, triple 4 2 5 59 dollars. Pick 3 5 5 4 18 80, super 4 2 5 3 2 47 even. Here's a rundown 1 KJ Eric was 6, 2 Laney's Desire second, 3 Trevor won fourth, 4 Rock on Lou the winner, 5 Base Player third, 6 E Paulette was fifth, 7 Heartland B Innies Bro seventh. Top down 6 2 4 1 3. Five seven on the bottom time for the race, one fifty six and two. Seasonal mark, second victory of the season for Rock on Lou. Horses are on the track for the fourth. One is Newbie, home of the whole stable with Brandon Parker. Number two is Super Pack Hanover, home of the Cavallo stable with Greg Merton. Number three is Here Comes Swifty, owned by Tom Alissi with Corey Stratton. Number four is Hypnotic Dream, home of the Moku stable with Max Sowers. Number five is Wrecking Machine by Scott Kepler with Mike Merton. Six is Rosewood on by Tiffany Barrett with Bruce Aldridge. And seven is Bet You on by Scott Dillon with Jim Taggart. Three minutes. It's fourth race, post time, and the gate is moving. Heels on its way. They're off. Newbie leaves. Popping out of the 2 0, though. There goes Super Pack Hanover. Everyone else is in post position order. Here comes Swifty, comes away third. Hypnotic Dream fourth, and Record Machine Rosewood. And Bet You Trails to Field seventh. And around the first turn. So there goes the even money favorite. There goes Super Pack Hanover. Now up to Graham Delayed from Newbie second. A gap of five lanes back to Here Comes Swifty third. Then Hypnotic Dream fourth. Then it's Record Machine Rosewood and Bet You 28 and fourth the first quarter here so they move around the paddock turn the first time and it is super pack hanover in control here right there in the pocket comes newbie second here comes swifty third hypnotic dream fourth followed by record machine rosewood and bet you at the back so they come by the stand for the first time and super pack hanover and greg merton taking a stroll around the monticello oval here over newbie second and now Corey stratton will pull here comes swift 
Swifty to come first over now. The half mile, 59 and 4. A uh, 31 flat second quarter breather. Moving around the clubhouse turn. Super Pack Hanover holding on to that late. Park first over. Here comes Swifty. Newbie in the pocket third. Then Bet You will grab that cover fourth. Hypnotic Dream buried on the inside fifth. Then Record Machine and Rosewood, but arriving at the three quarters, it's still Super Pack Hanover. Three quarters in 129 and four. Still a 30 flat quarter here, moving around the final turn. And Greg now looking to open the favorite up in Super Pack Hanover. Has a length and a quarter lead. Newbie is taken second, saving ground on the inside of Not a Dream, but they're at the top of the stretch. Homeward bound with Super Pack Hanover. Now two in front over Newbie. Down at the inside, Hypnotic Dream in between horses. Here comes Swifty. It's all Super Pack Hanover, a three length winner. Then came Hypnotic Dream, second best in one, 58 and three. Second goes to number four, Hypnotic Dream. Finishing third was number three. Here comes Swifty. Fred Borgalt drives number six, Ali. Exact a two and four, twelve sixty, triple two four three, fifty one fifty. Pick three, five four two, twenty six dollars. Super two four three one, one eighty four fifty. Here's the right. They're on the track for the fifth race. One is Masterson on by Tom Alissi with Corey Stratton. Number two is Janaid on by Manarian Ryan with Kyle DiBenedetto. Number three is Niall Hanover on by Bill Emmons with Mike Merton. Number four is Rise Up Now on by Ashley Eldred with Max Sowers. Number five is Roll with JR on by Stasio and DeVita Racing Stable with Greg Merton. Six is Ali on by Gordon and Morrison, driver change to Frederick Borgault. Seven is Prophet Blue Chip on by Shoals Davison Jingle with Bruce Aldridge. And number eight, it's Dark Horse on by Bob Kakamisi and driven by Jim Taggart. Four minutes to post. Three minutes.
Two minutes to post. Fifth race field lined up, ready for a start. There are, there goes Roll with JR, rushing right out for the early lead on the far outside. There goes Ali. And Ali on the outside now looks to drop into the tool. And from the outside, Janaid now is settled in third. Masterson on the inside gets away. Fort hung out there. Dark Horse is parked out fifth. Then on the inside, it's Niall Hanover. Six would rise up now. The early trailer is Prophet Blue Chip. But approaching the quarter pole here, roll with JR. The three to five favorite leads the way. Quarter mile, 29 flat at the paddock turn the first time. So it is roll with JR leading it by a length. Ali in the pocket spot second with Jenny third. Then on the inside, Basterson fourth. Hung out there on the outside. It's Dark Horse as they come by the stand for the first time. And we have Roll with JR just missed by a nose in this company. Pocket trip comes Ali second on the inside, Jenny third. Dark Horse still living on the outside fourth. Half mile, 59 and one at 30 and one quarter. Moving around the clubhouse turn. So it's still Roll with JR leading the way by a length. Pocket trip, Ali still on the outside. Dark Horse is still going the tough trip. Saving ground there, Janaid on the inside is fourth, followed by Masterson fifth. Outside, it's Rise Up Now. On the inside, Niall Hanover with Profit Blue Chip, but it is still Janaid. And now Frederick decides to pull Ali out of the tool. Three quarters of a mile in 128 and four. Moving around the final turn. So it's still roll with JR in front. Over Ali second. From the outside comes Janae third. It's down to these three. They turn for home. Roll with JR in front. Ali still a length back. On the outside comes Janae. It's going to be roll with JR. And the three to five favorite gets the victory over Ali and Janae in 157 flat. Judges are posted number five, roll with JR first, number six, Ali with roll with JR. A five year old son of roll with Joe, and no one is alone by the Panda Rosa. And by Stasio and Davida, trained by Nicholas Davida, driven by Greg Merton. Back to back wins for Greg. Finishing four or five from second and place third. For causing interference in number two, Janaid, in the last turn, we're placing number, once again, the six is going to be disqualified here. The order of finish will be five, two, six, three. Post time for race six. They're on the track for race six. One is Midnight Shark, owned by Ray Ann Stubitz with Brandon Parker. Two is Carter's Caper on by Anthony Mazzeo with Jim Taggart. Three is Mocklicious on by Kevin Reynolds with Mike Merton. Number four is Lone Raider on by Bobby Merton with Greg Merton. Number five is Arcane Sealster on by Tom Alissi with Corey Stratton. Six is Big and Bad on by Clifford Grundy with Max Sowers. 
Seven is Cole Power on by Ron Langley. Driver change to Kyle DiBenedetto. And number eight is Grand Priority on by Gordon and Morrison with Frederick Borgault. It's post time for race six and the gate is moving. Pieces are on the turn. Field for race six, our final pick three. Here they come. They're all. There goes Mocklicious and Carter's Caper both leaving. Midnight Shark on the inside third. Everyone else is in program order. Lone Raider gets away four with Arcane Sealster, then Big and Bad Coal Power and Grand Priority at the back of the pack. So they move down the back stretch and heading to the quarter. Mocklicious and their heavy favorite leads the way here. Carter's Caper is sitting the two hole with Midnight Shark third. Then it's Lone Raider fourth. A gap of two back to Arcane Sealster with Big and Bank Coal Power and Grand Priority, 29 and 4, the initial quarter. So they move around the paddock turn the first time. And Mike Merton has Mock Licious on the lead where he loves to be. Right there in the 2 0 comes Carter's Caper second with Midnight Shark third. Then it's Lone Raider four with Arcane Sealster and Big and Bad. They're in the stretch over to the half. And we have Mock Licious looking for back to back wins here in this company over Carter's Caper second. Now there goes Lone Raider now moving up first over. They're by the half mile in a minute, two fifths of a second. 30 and three panel moving around the turn with Mocklicious in front. From the outside comes Lone Raider now moving up alongside, looking to take on the favorite. Right there in the two hole comes Carter's Caper. Big and bad is situated second over fourth. Midnight Shark buried on the inside fifth. Then it's Grand Priority. Arcane Sealster and Cold Power is the trailer. Three quarters. Quarters in one twenty. 9 and 4 moving around the final turn it's still Mocklicious holding on to that lead, Carter's Caper in the two hole, Lone Raider still living on the outside third three lanes back to Midnight Shark and Big and Bad, they're at the top of the stretch and Mike Merton and Mocklicious still in front, on the inside Carter's Caper is second, followed by Lone Raider Mike, put the whip away, you're home free, and Mocklicious wins it going away, Carter's Caper will finish second, followed by Lone Raider are in grand priority. Time for the mile here, 158 and 3. Results are now official. 
Post time for race seven will be in nine minutes at 2.42. Brandon Parker drives seven, kiss my sass. This is our final double races, seven and eight. Here they are for race seven. The one is Real Roxy on by Stanley Noga with Greg Merton. Two is Gray Bell on by Lisa Sabielski and driven by Chris Aldridge. Number three is the New Americano on by Kiernan and Beaumont with Corey Stratton. Number four is Deuces for Charity on by Amy Lynn Taggart with Shane Taggart. Five is Blue Belt Beauty on my Vernon James with Jim Taggart. Number six is Rhoda Told Me on by the Great Thunder and Platinum Gold Stable with Mike Merton. Seven is Kiss My Sass on my Janet Messenger, driver change to Brandon Parker. And the eight is Shadow in the Twilight on my Gary Balloon, driven by Max Sowers. Four minutes to post. Three minutes. Two minutes to post.
Post time in a minute, one minute remaining. Post time for race seven and the gate is moving. Pieces are on the turn. Billy and Mares for the seventh race, our final daily double. Here they come. Merov, there goes the new Americana shooting out for the lead. Real Roxy down along the inside second. Gray Bell in between horses third. And now on the far outside, there goes Shadow in the Twilight beginning to rush on up fourth. Down along the inside, Deuces for Charity gets away fifth. Then it's Blue Bell Beauty sixth with Rotatomi, the early trailer. It's Kiss by Sass. Down the backstroke to the quarter. Corey Stratton has the new Americana year leader over Real Roxy. Roxy second, the quarter mile, 29 seconds flat at the paddock turn the first time. So we have the new Americana taking a big drop in class here this afternoon. Right there in the 2 -oh, Real Roxy is second, followed by Shadow in the Twilight dropping in third, followed closely by Gray Bell and Deuces for Charity. So they come by the stand for the first time. And up front, it is still the new Americana popping out of the 3 -oh now comes Shadow in the Twilight, pocket trip, Real Roxy. Then comes the 6-5 to five favorite, Gray Bell, the half mile, 59 and 4, 30 and 4 quarter. Moving around the club house turn with the new Americana holding that lead. Park first over, Shadow in the Twilight. Two-hole journey for real Roxy. Saving ground on the inside, Deuces for Charity is fourth with Gray Bell fifth. Then and to the outer flow there on the outside, it's Rhoda told me with Blue Bell Beauty and Kiss My Sass, but it's still the new Americana Three quarters in 130 and two. Moving around the final turn with the new Americana in front. Here comes the favorite, Gray Bell, making a three wide sweep on the outside second. Rhoda told me coming rapidly in a contention on the far outside, but they're at the top of the stretch. The new Americana joined on the outside by Gray Bell. Rhoda told me on the far outside, three horses coming to the line. Gray Bell has emerged with the lead and goes on for the victory tight there for a second among either Rhoda Told Me or the New Americana. Number three, the New Americana was third, and number seven, Kiss My Sass, finished fourth in 201 and one. Susan Hotspur by Ford Apache Hanover, by Lisa Sabielski, trained by Don DeVoe, and driven by Bruce Aldridge. Results official. Post time for the finale coming up in eight minutes at 3.01. This is our feature race coming up the open pace. No changes. However, there will also be no show wagering here in the finale. Pick five, $241. Super, 2637, $659 even.
Here they are for the finale. One is due now, owned by Damian Reynolds and driven by Jim Taggart. Number two is Yankee on the Move, owned by Bill Emmons with Mike Merton. Number three is Wind Sun Gotham, owned by the Cavallo Stable with Greg Merton. Number four is Nui Badan, owned by George Dreminis with Chris Petrelli. Number five is Heston's Lucky Chip, owned by Richard Deke with Bruce Aldridge. And number six is Think Big, Dream Big, owned by Tom Melissi with Corey Stratton in The Sulky. Four minutes to post. Three minutes. Two minutes to post. Post time in a minute, one minute remaining. Uh, we're going to have a delay in this race. The favorite number six, Think Big, Dream Big, is over in the paddock area. The horse has a shoe repair. And
big, dream big, is now leaving the paddock and heading towards the track. And we'll be ready in a minute. Okay, all six of them on the racetrack now, and the starter is calling for the horses. The gate is moving. Pieces are on the turn. Final race field behind the gate. Here they come. Mirov. There goes Heston's lucky chip in the center of the track, hustling out for the early late Yankee on the move, also showing speed there. And now getting away third is Winson Gotham. From the outside, there goes Think Big, Dream Big, and the favorite is getting underway early. Then it's due now in the early trailer, it's Nui Badan. So they move down the back stretch of the quarter, and from the outside, Heston's lucky chip looks to take the lead away from Yankee on the move, 28 flat for the first quarter at the paddock turn the first time. So Bruce Aldrich has Heston's lucky chip leads it a length. Yankee on the move is sitting the two hole with Winston Gotham third. Then comes Think Big Dream Big is racing fourth with do now and Nui Badan as they come by the stands for the first time. Heston's lucky chip coming off a win in the open last time out. Here comes Winston Gotham popping out of the three hole and rushing on up. Half mile here 58 and 1, 30 and 1 quarter. Moving around the clubhouse turn, Heston's lucky chip maintaining that lead. Two hole trip for Yankee on the move. Park first over, Wind Sun Gotham. Second over trip for the favorite, Think Big, Dream Big alongside fourth. Then it's due now, and we bought in. But in the meantime, down the back stretch, Heston's lucky chip opens up here on Yankee on the move. There goes the favorite, Think Big, Dream Big. Three quarters, 127. Seven and two at 29 and one quarter. Moving around the final turn. It's Heston's lucky chip in front. On the outside, think big. Dream big on the outside is second and challenging Yankee on the move. But they're at the top of the stretch and Bruce Aldridge trying to take the feature here. And it's still Heston's lucky chip and Bruce starting to urge him on. Here's a late move by think big, dream big coming down to the line. Here's the finish and the favorite think big, dream big and Corey Stratton gets it done in 156 and 1. Number six, think big, dream big first. Second was five, Heston's lucky chip. Third goes to number two, Yankee on the move. And the four, Nui Baden, finishes fourth.
Results official coming back to the winner's circle is Think Big, Dream Big. Seven-year-old son of Better Delight. Out of Extreme Dream by Jake Lobel. By Tom Alissi, trained by Ken Koch and driven by Corey Stratton. Results are now official. The double two and six, seven forty, exact a six and five, six ninety, triple six five two, eighteen eighty, super six five two and four pays sixty five dollars even. And our final pick three of three, two, and six, 2160. Here's the rundown.